way to um, the dam. So the dam's about 15 kilometers from my from my house. Um, sorry, 15 minutes from my house, about five kilometers. Um, so a nice short journey heading down for another 16 kilometer row. So not quite up to the the 22 kilometer standard, but still. Um, yeah, still building, still building back. I don't want to jump into it too fast. Like I said yesterday, I was, I've been been out for a week, so I don't want to. Um, yeah, I just don't want to rush it. Um, so yeah, today 16 kilometer row, and then I'll uh, I'll jump on the bike. I've got my my bike set up on um, a trainer, um, a giant trainer, and then I'll do another hour and a half there.
Hi guys, so I thought what I'd like to do is just to uh, use up the rest of this video and possibly in my future videos just have a few rowing thoughts. So just while I carry on uh, with my session, with my row or whatever I'm doing in that daily uh, vlog, I thought I'd just um, have a bit of a, a discussion, we can call it our, our rowing thoughts and um, I think what I'd like to discuss today is uh, just a little bit, a little bit about who I am. So um, I was just, just to give you an idea of of um, my my rowing career briefly. So I was at Rhodes University, rowed for the RURC, the Rhodes University Rowing Club. I was there from 2008 till 2012, and only really started taking it seriously in in 2009. Had an awesome crew, had a great year of rowing with them. Just missed out on the South African University's boat race final, um, but just the vibe was incredible. So, really set a good start to my my rowing career. Uh, from there, 2013 and 2014, I. I uh, started working at St. Andrew's College in Grahamstown. I worked as a stooge. Um, what this enabled me to do was to coach a little bit and to use up use up the rest of my time uh, training. And at that time, I wanted to become an international row and represent my country. So that was my dream for that time. Um, and in 2014, I decided that... I needed to head up to Pretoria to see if I could train with uh, the South African national squad. They had just won a gold medal at the 2012 Olympics, so I thought that's where I needed to be. I got a job at St. Albans College, and again, they enabled me to work um, part-time, train full-time. And yeah, in that time, I was able to qualify for the Olympics and... Uh, then head to the Rio Olympics in 2016. So that's a brief, um, uh, brief thing of my my rowing career. Uh, let's get back to the video. wind picked up, I don't know if you can see from the video, but yeah, wind, wind picked up after a couple of laps, so got over it pretty fast, um, but yeah, splits, I don't know, they, they changed a lot because of the, um, the wind, but I think a certain tail I was getting about 211 per 500 and then in the head about uh, 220 and then um, everything else just in between depending on the crosswind or whatever else. Um, I think before I got sick I was getting about sub 210 so on the journey back to um, back to there. Um, yeah, so just, I know for the rowers out there, that split doesn't seem very good, but it is to heart rate, so I made sure I never went above 150 heart rate, and that's just a training methodology that I'm, I'm using at the moment. Um, it's called mathetone, mathetone training, but um, something we can discuss in a later later post um, but yeah bike ride this off 